Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Eco Styler review. I mean Eco Styler like Pokemon, you kind of want to catch them all or try them all. So I came across the sport um, Eco Styler in my beauty supply and my hands just picked it up and I was like, eh. Somebody did tell me that they really liked it, so that was part of why I got it, but I was so curious to try it. So, today I'm coming on to demo and review the Eco Styler Sport. <laughs> so, it has a hold of 10, but you know, some are crunchier than others. The coconut one also has a hold of 10 and doesn't have that much crunch, but like the Eco Olive and Crystal has a hold of 10 with a lot of crunch, so that doesn't definitively say it'll be like crunchy or anything. These are the ingredients. So it's basically typical Eco Styler stuff. You have your water, carbomo, your protein, your glycerin. Those are the main ingredients in like all the Eco Stylers. This one doesn't even have any kind of oils or anything. Any pretend good stuff. It's just the basics, just the gel stuff. So let me just show you the demo and then I'll come back and talk some more about it. <laughs> Take a look. So this is the before, well before for this section, the rest are done. So you know the drill, so this is before I put any product in, just what it looks like. And I'm going to use this Baskin Bloom leave-in. It's really moisturizing so it's a good thing to put under Eco Styler because you know how Eco Styler does me, it's kind of drying for me so I like to really suit up under it. As you might see, I'm using one of my loves, the Camille Rose Whipped Aloe Butter Gel. So I get it in the back here. Smooth it down. So this is what the leave-in, the seal. And I'm ready to add the star of the show. So before I do that, this is LCO. And now I'm trying out this Eco Styler Sport. So it's an interesting texture. But I feel like it almost has more slip than the others, and it actually doesn't dry out my hair on application. This one, see? Smooth sailing. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So this is it. And we'll see when it dries. You can see first of all the volume is great and the shape is great, so I really love it. So it's not Super big like the curls on my but it's not as flat as the coconut. So in terms of volume, it's somewhere in between. I think in terms of definition, it's also somewhere in between. It's not as defined as the coconut, but it's probably a little more defined than the curls and waves. I would also say that this had a lot of slip and was really nice to apply. This is like I think the only eco styler where I didn't need to add any water after adding the gel just to work it through. So it is defined, but it is also a little bit frizzy. And I'm liking it. It doesn't have any crunch. And I almost want to say it feels moisturized, which is also a wow for Eco Styler. So I wouldn't say that Eco Styler added any moisture, but it didn't take away any moisture. So that's also a huge thing, because usually my hair feels kind of dry with Eco Styler. So definitely this Eco Styler is going on to my favorites list in terms of the top half of all the Eco Stylers that I've tried. So it does have that kind of shine, that glow up thing. I thought that was new to the flaxseed and coconut, but seems like they've been doing it for a while and I just didn't know because this is my first time using this. It is, I mean it's Eco Styler, the regular Eco Styler, but it rests really easily and I know it smooths really easily. The scent is actually pretty nice. It has a fresh, clean scent. It doesn't smell super chemical -y. it smells like fresh laundry or something, you know, that kind of light linen, metal kind of scent. So it's not bad, so I'll definitely keep it as an option. I guess my favorite in a sense is my Oco gel, just because I can make it myself. So it's free, I can control what I put in it, it's moisturizing, it gives me good, great hold and definition and everything. But for the times when I don't want to make it, I don't want to spend a lot of money using one of the pricey gels, I can probably use this 
occasionally. My hair does not feel dry with this one and I'm really happy with how soft it is and the volume and the definition and everything and the shape and everything. So I'm rocking this quite happily. Let me know if you've tried this Eco Styler Sport because I think it's slept on. To me this is probably honestly probably number two after the coconut because I think it gives me more moisture than the curl and wave and it gives me more hold than the curl and wave and still no crunch so if you have been sleeping on this definitely give it a try endorsed by Trinity Girl Natural. So that's it all my subbies hit me up in the comments and if you're on here and you're not a subby definitely subscribe for more great content. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!